Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the film Killers of the Flower Moon. Now, this movie was released on October 20th, 2023. It is a Western crime drama film that has an average grade of an A- on CinemaScore, a 7.8 out of 10 on IMDb, and a 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, the movie was directed by Martin Scorsese and stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, Lily uh, Gladstone, John Lithgow, uh, Brandon Frazier. And uh, this movie uh, has received a lot of high praise from both fans and critics. Uh, this is based on the book by David uh, Gran. Uh, the movie was nominated for several awards, like I said, including uh, seven Golden Globes, uh, 12 Critics' Choice, 12 Satellite uh, nominations, amongst many. And uh, this movie is about... Um, Molly Kyle, who is portrayed by Lily uh, Gladstone, who uh, is a part of the Osage Nation, and she tries to save her community from all the corruption and uh, greed uh, that has uh, uh, stricken her family, most notably uh, the female side of her family. And uh, in this movie, uh, she gets married to Ernest, uh, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, whose uh, family member, uh, William Hale, played by Robert De Niro, insists upon it. And, uh, yeah, it, if you haven't seen this movie, it's hard not to spoil it, but I will say uh, this is an incredible film filled with great performances the direction, writing, everything is great about this movie. Now, it is long. It's three hours and 20 minutes. But it flies by. Um, normally, I tend to doze off when it comes to uh, some of these long movies. But I I went all the way through, and I could not stop watching. This was just an amazing film. And uh, heartbreaking, but damn especially uh, DiCaprio, um, Gladstone, and De Niro. Just great, great performances. But uh, I don't, like I said, I'm not going to spoil the movie, but I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. You can find it on Apple TV Plus right now for free, or you can rent it uh, probably on your on-demand or wherever you have. But other than that... Uh, I'm going to give uh, Killers of the Flower Moon a 10 out of 10 and two big thumbs up. This was an amazing movie. <clears throat> Had I watched it before the year ended, this definitely would have been in my top 10 uh, non-horror movies of 2023 for sure. So in the comment section below, give me your thoughts and opinions. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and if you like the review, Hit the like button. But stay tuned for many more movie reviews. I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.